Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hoonie Pop. I'm Karen Maku, and, and I'm Doom Dragon. And Doom Dragon's looking for fat squirrel girl. <laughs> She's not fat. In one of the things, you said she was fat. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so now we have all the girls unlocked. Where should we go? What should we do? Let's hang out with Q. No, wait, we just hang out with Q. She's not going to want to hang out with us. You know, I think it's just been a while since I've seen Because she's not... She's not fat. She's thick. I wonder if this is the... I think this is the right thing. Because I could have swore she was like... She looked... Maybe you saw fan art. I might have... Maybe I did see... I don't even remember what... Because it's like, that's a problem with some fan art. People are just like, let me fix your character. And then they <laughs> make them like horribly overweight to the point where they should be like bedridden i remember it was a it was a it was a thing with uh izuku midoriya from my hero was that they were like oh i, I fixed them and then they just make him like this super overweight african-american and it's like you know you didn't fix anything in fact you probably gave him some heart conditions <laughs> <laughs> like i can say I can, I can talk about fat people i'm fat and i i'd like to lose weight I, I'm I'm making efforts. You're working outside a lot more, and you have a very active job. Yeah, and I'm trying to like eat like I'm trying to eat less like fatty foods, and like I'm drinking less sodas. The issue with the fatty foods is like I just get hungry at work, and I work at a fucking Domino's. But like people just get hungry at work. That's not a bad thing. I know, but well, you know, you get hungry at a pizza place. There's not much you can get other than pizza. I think I have all the stuff, right? All the flowers. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why you're asking me. I think I do. I'm just gonna throw everything else out. Okay. So just just give me give me give me a second. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to lose weight. It's just kind of hard. It's just hard to lose weight in general. Uh, oh, uh, How did that did it come uh, back at you? Uh, <laughs> and there's also the thing of like after I'm done working, I don't feel like coming home and cooking, so I'll just get fast food. Um. Which, like, I, I, I know I need to get better at it, and I'm trying to work on it. Uh, it's also just sometimes I'll ask you to pull something out for dinner, and you'll forget. It's not that I'll forget. It's that I can't find anything in there. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. That's... I like having the girls' panties in order. So In order of conquest. <laughs> Tiffany's. Aiko's. Continue your point, though. Um, But, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to lose weight, and I'm really hoping that I'll eventually... You know, succeed. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be like, a like I don't want to be like, buff or whatever. But like I'd like to, I'd like to not get winded putting on my socks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be able to look down and see my toes. Um, and I'm, I'm not, I got, I'm not trying to like fat shame anybody or whatever. If anything, you're fat shaming yourself. Yeah, exactly. I don't like the way I look. You know? And you want to look better, and you're working towards that. Exactly. Like, I, I see myself in the mirror when I go to get in the shower, and I'm like, ugh. Ugh. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I really like that joke. What's the point of it all? Why are we here? Just to suffer? Because it's like, um... Uh, I remember now I have to that I was watching something. a video, and someone yeah. had, like, was in the bathroom, and they only had half of a yeah. mirror. <laughs> <laughs> And someone made the joke of like, no, 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 that's the, that that mirror is so that you can just think about your good day, and that part of the uh, and that part of the mirror is so that you can stare at your you can just stare at the wall and reflect and think about what's the point of it all? What's the point? What's the point? <laughs> and, and I was I I thought that was way too funny. <laughs> oh, also, we were talking about like uh, people drawing characters as like overweight and stuff, and like. The thing is, is, like, most of the time in, like, shows or whatever, like, they have a reason it's, like, the characters aren't overweight. Like, they're working out. Like, Midoriya actually had to work out for, like, three months moving, like, fucking fridges and shit. Yeah, he didn't start so, out with a fucking six-pack, but he sure as hell ended up with one. Like, dude's gonna be ripped. Dude is gonna be jacked. That's the craziest place you haven't done it but would like to. Underneath the Death Room class. That would be pretty damn it. Hot. Uh, and like even in my hero, they have a character, uh, Fat Gum, uh, who is actually the character I I actually really like Fat Gum. Like if I were to ever do, if I were ever to do cosplay, I would absolutely be Fat Gum, because like I I could. That's my thing is like if I if ever I do cosplay, I'm gonna do fat characters. 
And I even talked about it at work, and I was like, if ever I dress up as a non-fat character, I'm gonna do it ironically. I'm gonna be Fat Man. I'm be Batman, and then on, like, my, uh, on the Batman insignia, it's just gonna be, like, a bunch of, like, french fries <laughs> into the shape of the bat. God damn it. <laughs> Okay, uh, what is her thing? I think she likes, uh, yeah, I think I already have that equipped. Um. Yeah. But, like, Fat Gum I really like as a character, because, like, he's a he big, fat character, and here. there's a reason as to why he's fat. Where he needs to, like, build up body fat for something? It's his quirk, is that the more body fat he has, it acts as, like, uh, it acts as, it, 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 it's, it absorbs, so uh, attacks. Because okay? it's, like, in a, in... A movie, not not a movie, in a show where like people are superheroes, they're not just gonna be fat unless there's a reason for them to be fat, because otherwise they're gonna be working out so that they're in peak condition to fight. Yeah, exactly. Um, like Fat Gum is fat because that is his quirk. His quirk is that all of his body fat acts as a shock absorbing sponge, and he it's also it absorbs shock. And stores it as body fat, and then he can, like, release it all in one punch, and then he's, like, skinny again. Um, and, like, they, actually, you know what? I don't, I think it was either Marvel or DC, I don't remember who, but they had a character whose superpower was bulimia. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, I Can wish I could- Can you explain that, please? I, 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 I'm gonna look her up while I explain it, because, like, I cannot for the life of me remember her name. But she was a character, um... Oh, hang on one second. She was a character who, um... Oh, her name was Big Bertha. Big and then, Bertha, that's a name. Uh, her superpower was that she could, like... She could get, like, super fat. It'd be huge. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> and that, that's Big Bertha. <laughs> Here I come for your money. <laughs> no, for your potato chips. <laughs> Apparently. Did she have to try hard to get fat, or could she just get fat? She can, like, eat a bunch to get fat, I think. I think that's just everybody, though. <laughs> she is a Marvel character. Uh, and she can get, like, super fat. And her fat, like, translates to being, like, you know, super strong, super, like, tough. She has, like, super durability. Well, I mean, that also makes sense, because it's, like, uh, there's a... Because it's, like, the weight that you have behind your fist will, uh, will, like, equal out to force that you inflict on that person, right? Uh, yeah, to a degree. There, there of course, comes the point of, like, if you're 600 pounds and you try to punch chest? somebody... You're not going to punch them with 600 pounds of force. You could. You could try. <laughs> you could reach for the stars, man. <laughs> but she she also had the power of, like, uh, after the superhero shit was done, she would just go and she could purge. She would just vomit it all out and she'd be, like, scrawny again. That's not okay. <laughs> and she was, like, she was a super offensive hero. Oh, yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know if it's i think eventually they changed it like i think for a while that was her power they had to change it because people were offended uh and then eventually i think they like uh changed it to where it's like she's just a uh she's just like a huge woman um giant woman giant. Unless I'm, i might be getting her mixed because i i do remember um, you know she existed. You don't know her name. I don't remember anything else about her. I just remember that she was, she was bulimic, and um, they like used it as like a, I guess a, I think they used it as like a joke. Oh, that's not cool though. It, it's not, and because uh, there's people that actually like suffer from that. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know if she was bulimic. I just remember that like she could whenever she was like I guess wanting needing to disguise herself or go into her alter ego, she could go and just like vomit all the fat out. Okay. And she ah, good. shit. Okay, gotta start over. Hang on. Okay, you can continue your point now. Okay, so um, I basically just looked up like how Big Bertha's power works. Uh, they described as she can manipulate her adipose tissue. Basically, it means that she can make herself like super fat. Um, but in order to like, she can just make herself super fat. Which makes her, like, huge and strong and tough. I wonder if the people who made her character got fired. I don't know. Uh, but when she, like, has all that fat, the only way she can, uh, get rid of it 
is to vomit it. Not, Not cool. And like her alter ego is just like a supermodel. So she'll like go and she'll like vomit a whole bunch. Uh, she'll do like her supermodeling thing where she's like skinny and cute and all that. Uh, I can see what they're going for about how like the modeling industry like forces you to be skinny. Well, no, she developed her power and then got because she's a mutant. She's a mutant in the X Men universe. She's she's an X Men mutant, so she has the X gene and her her mutation. Wait. What? Oh no, she's Marvel. <laughs> yeah, she is. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just one day they pull her out of their back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. She's oh, a part I forgot of the, to stop the timer. She's a part of the Great Lakes Avengers, too. So, and since, like, the current Avengers are, like, you know, not the Avengers anymore, you could bring in the Great Lakes Avengers. <laughs> Oh man, that'd be so fucking that'd terrible. Be awful. <laughs> oh, It'd be amazing, no. but awful. I'd like to imagine someone pitches it and they just get slapped. They They're like, hey, what? A, you know, Big Bertha. I'm what if we did Big? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I imagine, Go home, Jim. Imagine like he brought it up in the recording, not the recording studio, uh, the, uh, the 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 storyboarding room at, or the writing room or whatever. And they oh, my slap triggered my slow glow. I know, I see it, but it's like imagine he did it in like the the storyboarding room, and then like they have him do a public apology for something they didn't even <laughs> like the public didn't even know about. <laughs> but like, um, so she's a she's a mutant. So she, which by the way. That is how you dis you discern what a mutant is in the Marvel Universe, is if they have the X gene. So, if they possess the X gene, they are technically a mutant. If they don't, then they are something else. <laughs> I don't know what. Like, um, Reed Richards, the guy I mentioned earlier, has a son who's, okay. like, stupidly overpowered. <laughs> like, his son has the ability to alter reality however he wants. To the point where when he was a child, he would create entire oh, universes to play in here. for fun. What the fuck? Right? He's like stupidly overpowered. That, mm, and that, then the needs, kid, that needs to be nerfed. And then the kid gets eaten during Marvel Zombies somehow, which I don't fully... Oh, well, I guess it did get nerfed. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Marvel Zombies timeline, though. So if he's still alive, I think he eventually just becomes like a, uh, a watcher or some shit. Um, so yeah, she's a mutant, and then she discovered her power when she was a child was like how she can like manipulate the fat in her body and then she used it to become like skinny and then she went and got a mod like started up a modeling career which like i feel like there's a good message in there somewhere uh, but, okay. far be it for me to find out where very deep in there just look <laughs> for it because <laughs> like yeah she uh she started up her own career That's always been the weird thing to me in Marvel, is that, like, everybody's, like, super racist okay. towards the mutants. I don't know why. I, I would not be me I would not be racist to a dude with giant-ass wings or a dude who can, like, throw fire or whatever. I'd be like, y'all are fucking awesome. God, that little bug in here, it's, it's, not, it's not freaking me out. It's just, it's so annoying. It's not bothering nice. me at all. Lucky you! <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I wouldn't be racist towards a mutant. I'd be chill. I'd be like, alright, dude. Or scared, because they can kick your ass. That is true. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. is, I wouldn't. I don't know why you'd be racist towards a dude who can flip a semi-truck at you. Wasn't that the whole point of Deadpool 2? Was that, like, there was a mutant kid that was going to fuck people's shit up because people were being mean to it? They were, like, torturing or abusing him, yeah. Uh, but, like, yeah, no. Why would you be racist towards a, a dude who could just, like, Wreck your shit so easily. Also, wait. Yes? <sighs> what? Nothing, I'm just trying to figure out, like... Because it's like... That universe... Because it's like... Deadpool... Not connected to... Um... Oh, man. Is Deadpool DC or Marvel? It has it's Marvel. Marvel. It feels so disconnected because the universes don't cross. Well, it's because uh, the Deadpool movies take place in the X-Men universe, technically. Oh, that's why there's mutants in that one, but not in the Marvel one. Yeah, because I think in the, the mainline Marvel Cinematic this Universe, 
mutants don't exist, life, but... to the best of my knowledge. A lot of people are making theories that they were going to appear. Like, I think technically Wanda's kids would have counted as mutants. They would have. But they weren't real. So... All right, all right. They, been. Got lucky they could have been real. <laughs> I think that's the whole point of Multiverse of Madness. Is she's trying to find a universe where her kids exist. Something. Isn't that, like, the point of why she hears her, like, the disembodied voice of her children? I, I, I guess. I don't I don't really know, to be honest. Oh, my God, we talked about this. This one. <laughs> um, I've got a question for you. So, yeah, mutants don't exist in the main. Hang on, I gotta put it again. Longest relationship you've ever had? It's gonna get me anyway. <laughs> um, so, mutants don't exist, but Deadpool technically takes place in the... X-Men universe, I believe, Same and then I here. think they, like, <coughs> God, this room is hot. <laughs> I think they recently re- no, they didn't. Uh, but either way, Deadpool takes place, which, by the way, Juggernaut is not a mutant. I, I need that. Juggernaut is not a mutant. I don't know. Uh, they never address it in the Deadpool movie, but Juggernaut is not a mutant. That is an important thing to, to clarify. He got his powers from Magical Ruby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such an important distinction. Uh, notebook and decorative pens. Um, she has those. But yeah. He has a... He, one, he got his powers through magic. Two, he's Professor X's brother. What? They're like stepbrothers. So That's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're stepbrothers, which I don't know if it's still that way in like the movies, but like, should be. Actually, no. Professor X is in Multiverse of Madness, so I guess they are bringing in mutants. Yeah. Which is just gonna fuck Wanda up even more. Yeah. I think oh. so, at least. Also, they fixed the CGI for She-Hulk. Oh, they did? <laughs> yeah, because did you ever see, like, the early things and how, like, it looked really weird? No, 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 I haven't. Uh, what do you want to know about me? Fuck, I should have paid attention. What's your birthday? Oh, it used to look, like, really weird and unfinished. Do you think you could look it up? Uh, I probably could. I don't know if I can find a picture, but, like, hang on. Right, You'll no. find it. How can I, say no to uh, I trust you. I don't know if I can find, like, a side-by-side -side picture. Um. God dang. Is that it? Is that a side by side? Uh, yeah, kind of. But you can see, like, it looks a little like smoother, and it doesn't look as janky. Like, it looks, it looks more polished. I guess degree. so. I can't see the difference. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. I didn't notice it at first, but when I like looked at it closer, <laughs> then you noticed that it's a little fucky. Yeah, exactly. Oh, also, found out that uh, for Soul. Which, Soul was another, like, really good Disney movie. It was Pixar. Oh, yeah. Still, it's a really good movie. It is. It's another movie that doesn't have a villain, either. They have a lot of good jokes that just, like, you know... That's a really good message. It, it, it does have a good me message. And at least the ending, just, like, what is it called? Ambiguous? Yeah, ambiguous and open and, like... Because we don't know what we'll be living for, uh... What's his name? I forgot. Joe Gardner? Yeah, we don't know what we what would be considered living for Joe. Yeah, we just know that he, like, is just gonna, like, pursue what makes him happy. I feel like he's probably just gonna go back to teaching and, like, make the most of that. We don't know that. Because, like, it's not like his teaching job is shitty. It's just that he wants more out of life. Which is where the whole story of, like, the fish comes from. Well, like, um... I don't know, maybe he'll just go back to, like, how things were, because it's like, he still likes music, maybe he can just occasionally take up a jazz gig. Yeah, and he likes teaching others, like, how to, like, to pursue music. Um, can I please get this one down? <laughs> um, but yeah, in Seoul, I found out that apparently, uh, they never announced that, like, right, way before they announced it, a, bla a chauffeur knew that they were making a movie about black people. I think the chauffeur himself was black. And he said that he knew they were making a movie about black people because he had never chauffeured so many black people to Pixar Studios. 
which I mean, like, good on them for getting actual black people to voice the characters. Oh, yeah, same thing for Encanto, how, like, they all just, uh... They've been doing that a lot, where they've been actually getting the ethnicities right in the voice actors for the characters. They've, they've, they've been doing that right for, like, in, um, Princess and the Frog, most of the cast is black. Uh, d d d I don't know. I don't, I didn't know the cast of Princess and the Frog too well. But, um... There's one white guy at Encanto, and he plays... Uh, a bird. He plays a bird. I found out why they had him in there, by the way. He's basically kind of like uh, the Stanley for Pixar, I he's, think. He's a living or, Easter egg. Pretty much, yeah. Like, they, they just like to have a reference to him in all of their movies. So he, like, will almost always have, like, a small role. Apparently, he's, like, some kind of good luck charm. Which I would believe if he was in Encanto, because the movie was fucking awesome. <laughs> Uh, um, I've also I also started watching Ben 10 again because I love Ben 10. <laughs> didn't I get you to start watching Ben 10 again? Yeah. Because it's like I was just like, why why don't we watch Ben 10? You stop watching it. Go back to watching it. <laughs> we got like 10 billion series, so it's just half finished, and we need to finish them. We went to watch Master Chef today, and then we got caught on Hotel Hell. No, I said, do you want to watch Hotel Hell or do you want to watch MasterChef? And I didn't even get to finish that before you clicked OK on Hotel Hell. I need to find the woman who didn't flush for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> this is a personal <laughs> endeavor. <laughs> I need to find her. You know what? Do you want to play West of Loathing on the channel? I don't know. I don't know that we could. It's a really long game. It's a very long game. That's going to have to be so one. There's so much in that game. That would have to be one that we put on the back burner while we have other stuff playing on the channel. That's true. I I love West of Loathing. It's so fucking fun. It's such a... This is. I'm getting so sidetracked. I'm gonna die. I, I bet you can do it. Why did you do that? <laughs> yes! That's why I did it. <laughs> um, we're getting sidetracked, but like, West of Loathing is probably, it's, it's one of my top five favorite games. Good job. <laughs> I don't know if I really have a favorite. I just like games. Uh, that's why I say like, that's why I always say I have like a top five favorites, but like, I don't, of those five, none are like. You have a weird, ca uh, cat, uh, <laughs> a weird system for figuring out what goes in those top five. It's really just the games that I enjoy the most. Oh shit! Because <laughs> uh, taller. Those games are West of Loathing, uh, God of War 2018, Doom Eternal, Fallout New Vegas. I forgot to hang out with Venus today. No wait, I hung out with her this morning, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Okay, you good. Okay, good. Because she like just appeared and you hung out with her. I got so scared. And uh, Pokemon Sapphire. Bye. Five favorite games. Cool. No, please. Oh. Imagine one day I just swallow your entire hand. How are you? The fuck are you gonna do then, motherfucker? I don't know. I guess I'll fucking die. <laughs> but like, I, I like Breath of the Wild, and um, uh, I like Slime Rancher. Oh uh, yeah, Slime Rancher. That's the issue with like the top five list. <laughs> Sometimes I forget about games, and I'm like, oh no, I want that game to be on the list. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's also a good game. I want it up there too. <laughs> Dude, Slime Rancher is the perfect game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lime Because I think I've only ever been mad at Slime Rancher once, and that's because I got stuck in a corner being attacked by feral slimes. There was one time I was playing Security Breach, and I got stuck in a corner, and I was like, Help! Help me! <laughs> I was, I was just so stuck and I was like I didn't know how I got in there and I didn't know how the hell I was gonna get out <laughs> I, I I'm gonna say as far as like security breach goes I do wanna I do want to do like the one big episode of like trying to find all the the new shit and I want to see if that one ending actually like looks better actually works oh yeah there's also the thing of like does it fucking work because <laughs> that was unacceptable. Yeah, we couldn't show it on the channel. I had to, like, go get it from somewhere, someone else. Because, like, I, I wonder if maybe that just happened because the game programmed that we were still looking at the arcade machine. Maybe, but, like, they... 
Uh, I think in their bug fixing list, they mentioned that for PS4, they fixed that problem. Which they better have, because like that was just unacceptable to that, go through that much effort. That and... wasn't cool, dog. Also, our cat um, has us worried, because our cat, who has uh, feline leukemia, is... I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> But our cat has feline leukemia, and we're kind of afraid that he's having, like, a, a flare-up. Which, I don't think he is, since he went back down to normal temperature. He did. Uh, so, and, like, you know, he could have just been, like, warming up because he was taking a nap. Because that happens, like, when you when people take naps, is, like, their body heats up. Um, Shit! I did the, I did the thing again, where I thought, like, the work was the one up here. Oh, right. Um, but, like... Yeah, we, we kind of just need to keep an eye on him. Because it's like, he's been sleeping on, like, the blankets that we have in the hallway. Which, I know, that's weird. Leave us alone. But, like, um... But, um... He's probably just heating up because he's laying in those blankets. Yeah. And he's a... He's such a sweet cat. And he's so nice. And he's so... And he needs to fucking learn not to use his teeth when he's chewing our feet. <laughs> And he's like, he's super social too. He won't let me poop by myself anymore. Wait, really? He'll follow you into the bathroom? Yeah, he follows me into the bathroom. I'll eat every time? Uh, so far I've only gone to the bathroom twice and he has followed me both times. Okay. Why won't he do that for me? I want to watch, I want to see him watch me shit. I like this outfit. <laughs> he needs, to, but he needs to learn to quit going into the no-no areas. What no, oh, you mean the areas where we have all of our cables and shit? The cable cave, yeah. It's basically a cable cave, you're right. Uh, like, he needs to learn how to not do that. You sprayed which, him for it today. I did. Which, like, he's a cat, so I know it's kind of hard to teach cats anything, really. Teach him that that's not okay. Yeah, but... Uh, he is so fucking sweet, and it makes me so hard to be mad at him. <laughs> I, ho I hope our cat's one of those lucky cats that just doesn't get a flare-up ever again. Yeah, me too. Oh, come the fuck on. Because he'll follow me. Like, whenever I leave the room and he wakes up and sees me, he'll start following me around the house. He don't love me no more. But you don't leave the room. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. Just the fact that he won't cuddle with you no more? Yeah, he doesn't want to cuddle with me anymore. He don't love me. But, um... He'll follow me around the house, so I'll just be, like, walking around in the kitchen doing stuff. And he'll always just be, like, right near me. Uh... Like, he'll be sitting on the stool just staring at me, or he'll be, like, sitting on my foot. Stop having pets that imprint on you instead of me. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? Uh, stop it! Listen, man. <laughs> I, I, I think we've already found out that I just have really bad luck with pets. Um, I don't think the thing that happened with Midnight was your fault. Maybe? Because it's it... like, I think he was just born with it. Or maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> but like i still think i just had really bad luck because of my three pets that have been my pets none of them have done well we had to give one away after like a week which i don't even know if that cat's like okay uh one of them died and now midnight has feline leukemia like I said, I think he was just born with it. I know, but it still just feels like I have bad luck. It can't be bad luck if he just had it when you picked him up! Also, I remember we were at the vet, and we were going in, and you were like, what does he have again? And he was like, I was like he has feline leukemia. And you were like, no, doesn't he have the thing that like, can cause feline leukemia? Well, they said the, like, F something or other. <laughs> well, that's the thing, is like, what he has is, it's not full-on leukemia. It's like, it's kind of like halfway leukemia, and then it'll evolve into full-on leukemia. Like a Pokemon. Yeah. Good job, buddy. <laughs> uh, um. But like, because they, they said a different name when we were at the emergency vet. I think they called it by the technical name. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was referencing towards, and all of you were looking at me like I was fucking stupid. And then their cat, they had a cat at the vet who was a big old calico. His name was Squishy or something like that. His name was Spongy. Spongy, yeah, that's it. And that cat had the biggest eyes I've seen in my life. 
He was looking directly into your soul, trying to steal it. That dude can see the future through walls. Like, he was just fucking... His eyes were huge. And then I remember they were like, oh uh, yeah, he likes to drink water from the fountains. Oh, he does? So did they, like, pick him up to help him? I don't know. Do they have, like, a special fountain for him? I don't know, man. Because if they do, I would like to see that fountain. <laughs> the kitty fountain. The kitty fountain, yeah. Let's go see the kitty fountain. It does kind of suck, though, because, like, as far as Midnight goes, we can't have another cat. We can't have another cat near him. I really doubt we were going to get another cat, though. We weren't, but, like, like... getting Midnight was already, like, not planned to happen. Keeping Midnight wasn't planned to happen. Yeah, but at a certain point, we couldn't find him a home, and we'd already named him. And you know when you name something, it's never going away, so... <laughs> Yeah, my parents told me that if you name an animal, it legally belongs to you. That, well, that's, uh, uh, that's morally true. <laughs> Which, uh, led to me getting in trouble. How? Uh, because my mom, uh, when, when my mom worked at Sonic, uh, apparently somebody just dumped two dogs outside. And one was a female dog and the other was a male dog. And my mom only wanted the female, but she didn't want to leave the male dog alone. So she took both of them and then just kicked the male dog outside and was like, this is just where he lives now. That's not cool. And she was like, he's not our dog. So if somebody comes and like takes him, then oh well. Uh, so we took the female dog inside. That dog was a fucking menace. <laughs> Dude, she would chew our coffee table, the wall. She tried digging a hole in the living room. Did your mom still want to keep her? Oh yeah, my mom was in love with her. And then... Of course she was. And then I thought, I felt bad for the male dog, because he was, he was a fairly well-behaved dog. Like, he was super polite, very friendly. He would just walk up to you, and he was super chill. And I, I thought about it, and I, 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 in my head, I was like, I'm going to pull a sneaky one on my parents. <laughs> I'm going to name this dog, and then they can't get rid of him. And then my dad yelled at me. <laughs> or my stepdad yelled at me. What'd you, what'd you name him? Um, I, I was trying to, like, make it sound like... I was trying to, like, make it sound like it was an accident. So I'd be like, oh no, I accidentally called him by a name. He's our dog now. So he was like... My dad, my stepdad was taking me to his car to, like... I don't even remember what he was. He was trying to, like... I think it was to drive me to school. Uh, and I, he was like, oh, you're just a regular doggy Joe, huh? So I could be like, his name's Joe. <laughs> And then he yelled at me. But, hang on, question is, did it work? It didn't. Damn it! <laughs> it instead led to me getting yelled at for ten minutes. Because <laughs> imagine if it fucking worked. And Max, you... he's just glaring at me, he's like, God fucking damn, it's our dog now. Ah, damn it, and then like, you His name's just... fucking Joe. <laughs> but, yep, that, that was an event that occurred. Uh, but, um... When you said that, like, the female dog was a menace, but, like, the, uh, male dog was, like, well-behaved and nice, uh, it reminded me of when we, like, got our second dog. Uh, his name was Snickers. <laughs> no, it's just because I remember, do you ever hear the joke about the dude who had the cops called on because he was, like, riding his bike looking for his dog and yelling its name? His name was Snickers. No. So he was, like, riding his bike down a road yelling Snickers. No. Which, you know what Snickers sounds like. Uh, if someone's not listening particularly well. Yeah. But what was Snickers like? Uh, Snickers was great. Because it's like, uh, one one day we had like two dogs show up on our, uh, on our doorstep. And uh, me and my sisters wanted to keep the dogs. But my parents was like, no, these aren't our dogs. We can't keep them. If, we're going to leave them outside. And if they're still here by morning, then we'll keep them. And... Yeah, they were still there when we woke up the next day, so we, like, took them to the backyard, got them, like, food and water, and, uh, Snickers was, um, like, underweight, the Snickers was, like, a chihuahua or something, I don't know, mm -hmm. he was something, and the other was, uh, I don't know, like, a pug, pit bull, I don't know. I feel bad for pugs. Have you seen a pug skull? Can I finish my story? Go ahead. <laughs> and, like, the thing is, we found out the reason why Snickers was so thin. It's because the other dog, which was a female, would, like, push him away from, the, his, like, his food and eat his food. So we were like, oh, they can't stay together. So my dad, like, picked her up and took her to a shelter. And we had to get rid of her. But he kept Snickers and he was great. He's <laughs> a great dog. But he had a habit of, like, jumping over the gate that we put to, like 
keep the dogs from running all over the house. And, man, this is going on for a long time because I can't go fast <laughs> enough. But it's like... What? Nothing. But it's like... That led to the other dog I had, Christy, trying to also jump over the, like, guards, keeping her in her room. And she hurt herself. <laughs> she jumped over it, and then she hurt herself, and then she never did it again, because she realized that jumping over the fence hurts. She was not a very smart dog. No, she was. She just figured that, like, hey, if he can get out, I can too. And then she realized that she can't do what he can do. But okay, God, finally we're done with Momo. Why are you looking at pug skulls? Because, like, look at this absolute nightmare bullshit. Oh, that one's weird. Yeah. Yeah, purebred uh, animals are um, not always healthy. Hey. Hmm? Oh, is it time? Yeah, it's time. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Hoonie Pop. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Done subscribe. <laughs> Come on. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.